हेलो हेलो Today we have one job mainly, and that is improving the performance in this level here. And hopefully we get it to 30 FPS on the N64. Hello, eternal might. Hello, external might. Or external, apparently I can't read. You called him eternal knight? <laughs> I said eternal might, not night. Oh. I thought he called him eternal night, which is honestly, that's not a bad name either. I should be switching headphones for this so I can hear. Oops. I have to cut out. Hello. Hi, Lila. Hello, Lila. Lila, don't you want to write the shadow script? I can implement it in code, and you can write the script. Isn't that a fair distribution of work? Hello, BG Sue. Course 2, yes. I'm not sure how appropriate Simple Flips references are anymore, since the drama. And... I will mostly refrain from making those until the public has made a judgment. I have to finish the course two icon. Drama, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of drama with simple. It doesn't make him look good. I'm yeah. gonna be real here for a sec. It does not make him look good, but. We'll so, one thing I want to do to improve the performance here is make the water opaque, remove the floor below it, and then make it so that you can't have the camera below the water. And then I can make the piranhas so that if you go into the water, the piranhas jump out and like hit you. Which honestly makes it a lot easier to program the piranhas, so I kind of like that. They're just going to kind of look like particles, I guess. Any OST wishes we should put on today? Hello, Micron Online. Wait, I had to add a background for this, but I don't know what else to add. So I'm just going to send you a screenshot right quick. Because I want to finish the course icon for this level. And then possibly, and then probably move on to the next thing. Hello, SCG. Can you make a... Yes, that is possible. But that would be a lot of work. But technically, we could make it so that there's a like separate collision here, and the collision activates darker colors on Mario. Maybe one day I'll do it. Just not right now. I sent you a thing. Well, the main reason it would be a lot of work is because I would have to remake some of the collision, because if you look at it, in the collision, those triangles don't exist anymore. What did you send me? I sent you a thing. A thing? Of course, icon with a background. But... Alright, I do prefer this over what we had before. The colors don't really fit the actual skybox we have in-game, though, right? Oh, you gave it a more blue tone. Yeah. Okay. Because um, I was going with the overall color theming of the of the level, but I can change the skybox mm -hmm. color. Might be a good idea, like from green to blue. Green to blue, that should be easy enough. Hello, meat chunk. Hello, nerd. Stop that is true, on kid. It would look very good. Let me show you the level in its current state, and then we can look at things. Also, Lila, the bug you saw in the video was because I had removed the floor here, and that made some rendering issues. I finally changed the color of these things here, and made them the proper size. So, 
so when I tested this level on N64, there were a lot of race conditions with the two threads I had to fix, but now it seems to work. Hello, Mushy. Hi, Mushy. Mushy in here. That is a rare sight. Alright, I changed the background color for the course icon. Now I just have to shrink it down to the N64 resolution. Alright. Ooh, yes. Much better? I like this. What do you guys think? That's a course icon for this. It looks very cool. I don't know if I wouldn't put Pucci maybe here. So it actually looks like he's running away from the egg, like next to the shy guy, but I don't know. Um, I wanted Pucci in the foreground and the shy guy in the... In the shy guy in the background, but I also... There's also the weird issue with his tail, with Pucci's tail, that just kind of looks like a floating circle. Because hmm. it kind of camouflages in with the shy guy's foot. So. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that. Yeah. Oh, you want to make him... Yes, yes, I like that rotation. And okay. then move him up a bit. Let me, let me test this. <laughs> True, Mushy. I only stream once a week now, but honestly, I think this is a bit healthier too. I, I don't. Because I used to get very irritable if I just had to be online too much. <laughs> and you're right, Lila, I will fix that right now. I actually don't mind the change to the streaming schedule. I quite like it. There we go. Alright. Alright, what do you guys think? I sent you the course icon. One second. Lila, there's your thing. Yes, I like this. Alright, and Pucci's tail isn't camouflaging in with his foot, and it doesn't look like a floating object. Looks good to me. Perfect. Is there anything else I can do for a course now for a course two? Or is this or is this it artistically? Can I start concepting for the next Oh right! The Yoshi Elder! Yes, right, we still need the Yoshi Elder. So we need to figure out how to work this out, because uh, I don't know if you plan on using the big Yoshi model we have already, the one where you just bounce off his tummy. Um, we might use that and like add some stuff to him. Do you want the model? Yes. Give me the model. I will All right. I'll see what I can fat do. Yoshi. Follow up question to that. Are we going with the Paper Mario style fat Yoshi? I think so. Okay. That, that makes my job easy. Let's see, how would I call this Yoshi? Hmm. Is it Big Yoshi? I don't think so. What the hell? The man behind Mario, yep, that's me. Dude, I got a message from an, a head engineer at SpaceX two days ago asking if I don't want to change my career. Oh, here he is. They were like, oh, you made Mario 64 60 FPS? Okay, well, now send a test out to fucking Mars. This has to be 64 by 64, correct? Yes. Or 63 by 64, even. 63 wide. 63 wide. Oh, no, no, 64 60, right, never mind. From Elon himself? No, it's just an engineer there. But imagine how funny that would be. Okay, he's working for SpaceX. Oh, hey, Jay. New guy. New chatter. Hello. 63 by 64, why? Because when you have anti-alien or texture filtering on it blends half a pixel into the other half pixel so each image can only be 31 and a half pixels wide otherwise there will be a seam in the middle between them hello josh the Bosch. so what i want to do first here is to make the water opaque it's gonna look slightly worse but this will be necessary for the performance on the n64 unfortunately all right, I sent you the the tiny version of the course icon, and it surprisingly looks okay. Let's see. All right. I'm kind of surprised. You're gonna see it at this size here, so that works. 
Yeah, I'm surprised it looks good. I wasn't expecting that. Yes, Mushi, that's why. But I always fix that when I do stuff, so... It's not an issue for me. I'm gonna save this in the concept art folder. Mm -hmm. So from many as I heard this, you can't visualize half a pixel. Uh, yes. It's more like you see the texture rendered on your screen. And if you render a 32 by 32 texture on your screen, it might be like 80 by 90 pixels or something, right? Right, if I go really close to the texture, really close like this, now suddenly a single pixel is a lot of pixels and you have to somehow fill in the subspace, otherwise this will look like Minecraft. Or if I do this, suddenly a lot of pixels are just a single pixel. Okay, you're making everything look like Minecraft. Why can't you just optimize the fill rate of the water? I have. Look at this, it's all cut out. Case your shit No, not in my server! I can't believe it. Not in general. Oh no. So I'm just gonna delete this part here and I'm gonna make it so that these, oh fuck. These are gonna be scaled smaller. Really this song is a banger. Wait, what OST are we listening to? Shadow the Hedgehog. Of course. I like it. and just give him some new animations too while I'm at it. You don't need to duplicate him, you can just do animations if you want. Okay. So if I do this, I have to move this up too. This is a little animation here. And same here, because now the water is gonna be rendering in front otherwise. something like this and I'm just gonna check if this looks fine in game and if it does then we're gonna test it on N64 and improve it some more. How similar is the work you do in the rest of the week to this? Uh, the work I do in the actual company I work at is a lot slower because the build times are a lot longer and it's also a lot simpler like coding wise. It's mostly just like debugging and bug hunting right now. Uh, you need, like there's a lot of knowledge I still need to gain for that job. So a lot of my job right now is just like learning the tools still. Because I'm new to Unreal Engine 5. Well, you seem to pick everything up pretty quickly from... Well yeah, because I'm, I'm very good at stuff like that. <laughs> You're kind of a machine when it comes to learning, you absorb it all. Yes, I work for a game company now. Yes, for breakfast. 
AKA the hat in time, guys. Alright. There we go. <clears throat> what company? Gears for breakfast. They made ahead of time. I can now officially say it. Um, my N64 is not showing up. What is going on? Why is my N64 not here? I need to make a new texture. Uh, what the fuck? I did just plug this in. Oh well, I guess that's unlucky for you. I'm just gonna test this on my CRT then. <laughs> you can just move the camera here. Do you want me to hold the camera for the- God, it's too short. Oh, sad. I only got with them last month onion kit. Does the thing just not... What is going on? My N64 just isn't booting. I might have removed the thing too soon. Okay. This doesn't play during Sonic 3. Sonic 3? I think I'm... Isn't it like 30 years old? Pretty sure this wasn't in Sonic 3. I'm pretty sure they had no lyrics. <laughs> Because the cartridges were baby tiny and lyrics don't fit on there. Oh, the movie! Yes, yes, this needs to be in the movie. I hope Shadow in the new movie is gonna be so fucking edgy. I want him to go like, oh, this is like taking candy from a baby, which is fine by me. It wouldn't be Shadow the Hedgehog if they didn't do that. It has to, it has to. Dude, my, my N64 is just not going on. I don't know how I'm supposed to test this. I don't know why it's not turning on. It, it did turn on yesterday. Is it something you did while cleaning? No. What? What? I need a tip for chaos. <laughs> so what would I have done while I was cleaning? I don't know, pluck out a cable somewhere. No. Impossible. Well, it's not booting anymore. It's an N64. They kind of have trouble booting sometimes. It always worked. Hmm. Well, I guess we can't performance test today. What if I turned it on? Would Try it. Here, let me just, do we have to do the classic blow the cartridge? You can try that. Okay, let's try it. Will you be upset if it works? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna move our friend out of the way here. Okay. See, the problem with not being able to performance test this is that I don't know whether this is actually worth it or not now. What? <laughs> it just works now. Okay, well then. <laughs> the N64 likes me more. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, making the water opaque. And no impact at all on the frame rate, great. Let's see. You know what, Nick? That's not surprising. Considering you're at a level, a skill level in Puzzle League that just outplays Wait, it didn't even, it didn't even change. What? It didn't even put my ROM changes into the game. Did I just not export this yet? I must have missed exporting. Great. Show us your card. How? What did I erase? What did I do, Mila? Oh, actually, maybe now that it boots, I can actually show it on stream. I hope. Okay. 
Do not run the loudest sound possible, dot Z64. I advise against this. No image coming here. I don't know why the N64 doesn't show on stream, but I'm getting my new HDMI thing installed anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's gonna be fixed at some point, and then I can finally make YouTube videos again. I need, I need to find you a new capture card too. Yeah. What? It still didn't apply. It just doesn't do the thing. Hey. I didn't. I didn't compile the ROM. I never got to compile. All right. Well, round three. So right now the stage was 21 FPS, which is very, very bad. I have one optimization idea of removing the middle part when you're at the very end, because that's the most laggy part, which would get the FPS up to 23, but it would reduce the FPS in the middle because it's gonna duplicate some texture nodes, which is very bad. Hi Skyla. All right, 24, there we go. That is a lot better. And there's a lot more I can remove here. See, CMD is at 45 milliseconds, 45.3, good. This is going to be worth it. Because this is like three or four FPS, just for removing the transparency of the water. Still better than 1064, that is factually true, although very sad to hear. I like to capture this one as well, so let me go slightly above. Never mind, that was a bad idea. For the sub. Josh the Bush, thank you for the sub as well. Man, streaming once a week is a lot more lucrative per time, isn't it? <laughs> Although I still also work outside Saturday, so honestly, no one's getting scammed here. <laughs> Actually, factually, I'm removing Nita right now for once. Oh, 
Okay, I predict that this will be a lot better performance-wise than what we had before. It is making you cry, but it is necessary. It pains me as well. I did not mean to write those T's. There has to be something else you can do. Why would there have to be something else? Prove it. I don't think there's any way around this because it was 21 FPS. Small brain to a 240p. <laughs> My N64 is I think 240p. <laughs> so. The water is still pretty, what do you mean? The last level you saw was the one with the dino jungle? That is not true. I remember you were definitely here during the beach level with the Koopas and the neon colors. You've probably even seen the beginning of this level here. It just looks a lot better now. With the water wheel and stuff. You've never seen this. Anyway, let me check on my N64 whether it's proper FPS now. And after this, we probably want to add the to add the promos. You know what? The worst part is now 24 FPS, so that's not as horrible. Hello, Luna. Let me check the CMD again. 43.4, that's that's decent, honestly. I wish I could show you this. And yeah, when you actually get to the platforming, it is 30 FPS, so that's fine. So there's one bug in this level that we need to fix today. I will show you in a second, let me just test around more on the level. This is so beautiful in N64. I love this. <clears throat> Remove the water for 4 FPS. It was 3 FPS. And that is worth it. Alright, I will show you the bug I want to fix. Right there in that corner. Every object on the frame they spawn, they are over there. That's not good. Zena, they want to say hello to you, but you're not reading chat. Anything above 20 is playable. Hello, hello. I prefer the 4 FPS over just the water here. Hi, Don. Okay, the water effect is weird. No, the water is super fun. I just have to program the camera to never go below the water. Ooh, I forgot the back set of those. Think of it as some gillette. Is it a sub day today? Is it a what? Sub day. Seems like gotten it. gotten three subs today. Yeah. Just 
soon you can just render it first before everything. That would be way laggier. Because it would have to render this part here even when you're here, or I'll just fall over here. It's not a good idea. And if Mario was in the water, it would look wrong too. No, that's a bad idea. The water should render very last. Like so. Oh no. I removed the brick here. Seaport is just a definite version. The man knows the truth. He is an ambassador of letting us know what's up. This is the most minor performance improvement of minor performance improvements, but I still want to do it. Because in this level, I'm struggling to get anything. Can you add more to the skybox, by the way? Possibly. Honestly, we have to just get the most out of performance here first, and then we can see what else we would like to add. Some birds on the skybox. That's kind of lame. I don't like that. Who wants static birds in the skybox? <laughs> such a PC port. Oh shit, that would run so well on N64. Did you see the N64 port of the PC port? Beauty. Who wouldn't want that? Xbox controllers too, they always break so quick. But the Xbox One controllers are usually pretty okay. Every Xbox controller I had broke within like one or two months of actively using it. Did you have 360s or one? I don't know. You had... No, you did have 360 controllers. 
Could be. So I bought you a brand new one for your for your birthday. Yeah, maybe this one lasts longer. Although I have not used it properly yet, so. It'll definitely last you longer. Did my so. controller give you any trouble when you used it? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. So we can fill less pixels here. RM2C is annoying, never used it. Hello, Voicel. 360 controllers? What do you need so many for? True. Case trying not to say Ferret is always funny to me. I never try not to say it, I just naturally don't, because I know what words mean. I can't believe you would make accusations like that against me. Baseless. Did you read the badging thing? What badging thing? What would you like me to badge? You need that badging to the bushes? The bushes are badged. That was the first thing I did after porting this on N64. Let's see, what else can we do to improve performance here? See, one idea I had was to make it so that if you're here, the whole part in the middle, this whole chink thing, this whole chunk, we just wouldn't render it. It would mostly work, I think. Or we could make it so that, depending on the camera angle, we just skip every texture facing, you know, this direction, or everyone facing this direction, or this direction. All that I would triple all the texture loads. But it might be possible. Hello, Wilson. But I don't think that would even solve the issue, because I would still render this when you're looking at this direction. And I think the issue is from filling all these pixels twice. I have an idea. What if I could somehow order these polygons here to render after? How much would that help? I can probably do that. We first sort. View Z axis. This is 
what you want, right? But is this top to bottom or bottom to top? What if I sort by cursor distance? I wonder if this changes performance a lot. The problem is that it's really hard to sort the triangles into the correct direction, correct order. And you need the triangles in the middle of the level to render last, because if they don't render last, they're gonna render and then I think something else is gonna render over it, which means you write the same space twice instead of once. Right, so you can lose up to 5 milliseconds on the render from that, which would suck a lot. It's been a while, I'll show you something cool. Uh, it's gonna be tough, because I'm gonna test on my N64 first. You will see cool things once I boot the game. On my emulator here. <clears throat> I still need a proper capture card. Anyone know a good HDMI capture card? Look at my N64, it doesn't work, the cable is too short. Okay, I think we gained a full FPS from doing that. Let's see, CMD was 43.3 before, I think. 43.1. That is 0 0.3 milliseconds for free. Okay, it looks like it sorted them the correct order. I should mention 43.1 while having the debugger open, so in reality it's a lot less than that. Hmm. Honestly, the level is very playable now. Most of it does hit the 30 FPS. Although it could be better. But I don't think there's gonna be a magic bullet to do this. Hmm. I need I need other music. I'm sick of Sonic. What other little performance tricks can we do? Ryboson is nice CC for HDMI. Ryboson. Okay. I hope this works with the N64 digital. I have this thing here. You found something? I might have. All right. Anyone know if this works with it? Is that about mini HDMI? I don't know, but can't I just turn mini HDMI into HDMI? Well, it's for my YouTube stuff, so I can put more money into it. 
this me HDMI to HDMI. Right? Yeah. Alright, shall we just get this one then? The Rivosa. Retro Bouncing. What is this? <laughs> Great. It has some mixed results. Retro Bouncing on this dick. You got leg mud. Unbelievable. It's not in store. What? Are capture cards just out of s collectively out of stock right now? Uh, but it doesn't have the split thing, does it? I think I wanted like the easy easy cap two six one. Yeah. This one here. And the one I ordered, they had to refund me because it was out of stock. Yeah. You might just have to order this one here for me then. Alright. Just December 14th. Alright, here. I'll order this for you now, sorry, so I don't forget. Okay, what else can I do to increase my performance? Hmm. We have to get creative. Yeah, Fazana has the easy cap and his looks pretty good. Add the culling idea. I don't think it's gonna be that good though. I think we could cull this one here reasonably without it being any additional lag. Although the point of culling is to Cal the laggiest setting, and the laggiest setting is looking from there on. True, just find some insane performance improvement. I'm sure there's many left. <laughs> eh. I don't think Culling can save us here at all. Hello, Munfe. Okay, what if I do go with the idea that I had before? Which basically, we hide all of this here until you get close to it. Because you can't see any of this while you're far away. Turns into N64. Hmm. How does it re look right now with culling? What do you mean right now with culling? There is no culling right now. Without culling right now, it is 24 to 25 FPS at the very end, which is the worst camera setting you can possibly create. So it's bad, but not like super awful. But I would like to get 30 FPS here. Thank you. 
I know that deleting this helps. I'm just thinking what the best way to implement this. Also, this will definitely help. So let's hide this section here, export the level, and see how much performance we save. And if it's like 30 FPS, which it won't be, it should be like 26 at most, then we can just make it so that this always hides itself when you are not looking. Unless it adds too much lag to actually go here. But I think going here should cause maybe 100 microseconds of tech shadow time which sucks additionally, but if you're in this camera view, you're not gonna get any like anyway, so it should be fine. I've ordered it. I've very ordered nice, nothing. very, very nice. What could also help is if I just fuse these back together now, because now that the tri now well, the, the triangles will be sorted now, because you can manually sort triangles by fusing stuff in the right order in Blender. I think the object you fuse into has its triangles first, and then the triangles of the other thing. But that is a very inconsistent way of doing things. Oh, and also, I can't forget, there's the fact that Scuttlebuck actually finally enabled material bleeding in Mario 64. And also display list inlining, which will save a lot of lag as well. I think that's another 200 microseconds down. So we do have a bit more performance to play with than it would seem at first. The game didn't boot. Is that an epic creepypasta? It's a real thing. 26 to 27, all right. The CMD is 41.5. Yeah, so I think this is worth it. The question is can I just add this back now and keep the performance improvements? Because it might be possible. Wait, what? If everything goes well, this will work. If not, I might have to invert the order. Let's try both and see how they compare. Now the order was merge the middle into the outside. And afterwards, we're gonna try the other way around if this does not already fix the performance. Posture check, fine. Uh, eh. <sighs> if we're lucky it works, if I'm lucky it won't work. It's a 50-50 mix-up. The game crashed again. Booting the game can be a bit difficult right now because 
I think it's because of some race conditions. I already fixed a lot of them. Hmm. I don't think it worked. Let's see, 30, 35, 40. 41.5, wait. It did work. Alright. So ordering the materials like that did save a lot of luck. Never mind, the middle just isn't here. Why? Why? I did compile, right? Am I just missing up, moving my... Yeah, it's here! What do you mean? What went wrong? <laughs> I was still 26. Did I copy it? I'm pretty sure I did. Dude, I wish the EverDrive actually worked like it's supposed to. You're supposed to be able to just through a link cable from your N64 to your computer to just put it on there. It just never works and I don't know why. The software is just bugged. I wrote the, the guy that made the software and he just told me use this other software and this other software just crashed my N64. Frenzy sex, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Yes. Forty two point one. Forty two point three. Honestly, it's still better than before. We might just have to live with this. I think this is cheaper than Colin. I want to listen to Mario Party 4 OST. Mario Party 4 OST. You definitely did. I definitely talked about transy sex. What the fuck is that? What? I think I think we lament that just dude definitely misheard something. So you don't think I talked about transy sex? I don't know. What were you talking about? The only thing I could hear was you saying the, that this EverDrive sucks because you can't uh, seamlessly bring your files and compilation to it from your computer as it's intended. So no transy sex? It, no. I mean, does anybody else have that problem with your with the EverDrive? With this specific EverDrive? Or is it just you? It looks like it's just me. Huh. Not even the guy himself could address it, could figure out what the issue was? Nope. Pain. Well... Hmm... I think that's all I can think about. Let's do the piranhas next. We have to make it so that if you go into the water, piranhas jump out and add you and they deal one damage. I do like the shading a lot too. And this was the prana we had. They can be any color we want, so we're gonna make a few of them. How do I animate these? Just like snap. 
These are just gonna jump out of the water in a half circle and land on Mario. Why is the Prana cute? Everything's cute. That's adorable. No Uvo Piranha. gonna do this. Nom nom. Or I should I can't even speed this up even more. I do kinda like that. Nom 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 what do you think? Nom, 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 nom. Let's see. Oh, he's adorable. This is me when pizza. Nom, 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 nom. We have a we have a pizza in the freezer. This is me when chocolate. It's you when chocolate. That is you when chocolate. <laughs> and that's why most of my stash is gone. I had a no. So when I was on my triangle expedition a couple a few weeks ago. I brought home a huge big thing of Halloween candy because one of my coworkers just brought in for everybody to share. And my chef said, take as much as you want. And then the neighbors came and ate all of it. No, you ate all the chocolate. While she was out, the neighbors came in, they ate all of it. You're full of it. And the cockroaches too. I don't believe that for a second. They can't eat plastic. I'm innocent. I don't I'm being framed. I don't believe that for a second. The neighbors, the nerve of them. The neighbors and the cockroaches, they both came in together. I tried to fight them off, but they just, they just overpowered me you with a mess. I don't believe that because you would definitely, you would definitely fight off the neighbors with the barbell <laughs> and the plates. That was the cockroaches, they got to it while I wasn't looking. Mm -hmm. But if they attacked my weak point, <laughs> they found my weak point. What is your weak point? Won't say. Won't say, huh? ask him so he says out of social pressure i think i am literally the one person where social pressure works the least on the entire world social pressure never works on you
Hello, John Trium. It has been a while. Hello, John Trium. How's the jalking going? <laughs> What? I would never say something crazy like that. What are you talking about? Why are you randomly talking about jumping? You're weird, dude. Unbelievable. Jam out of randomly while you are in last, so the player knows not to go into the water. Are you on land? Mm, yes, they should. Hello, Thanatos. Thank you for the sup. Welcome to the gang. How's the lifting? Pretty well. I started switching to full body six times a week and I've been improving a lot faster now. I am literally training with like 225 for 12 reps now. Feels very good. Was your last week doing so bad? I don't know. Well, it's it's not like super high volume, right? I used to do five sets of every exercise, now it's just like three. Because I have a job now, I don't have that much time anymore. Yeah, but doing getting interactions on Twitter is worthless, you know? The whole point of Twitter is to get people to my YouTube. I think the issue is just that Twitter doesn't promote tweets that lead outside of Twitter as much because it's bad for the business.
Uh, I think I want this one. Let's just have them be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One of the first twelve, like this. And then we have a geo set prim here. Wait, which one does it set the prim to? Layer one, perfect. Do you rate exercises? Yes. So like every three days I do bench, every three days I do squats, every three days I do pull-ups pretty much. Well I alternate between squats and deadlift and pull-ups and chin-ups. So that way it works pretty well. And Saturday is my one rest day because I have to stream. All we have to do is this, he doesn't even need wall collision or anything like that. I think in the middle we don't want him to do anything. Mm. And this facing angle pitch should be 8 tenths of welts. Hydration check, here we go. Thank you, John Trium. Hydration ASMR. I'm glad you guys enjoy my ASMR as usual. Cross the check again, god damn it. I can't relax today, can I? Nope, you gotta stay, you gotta have good posture. Now that I forget, uh, this is all good. Let's just look at it and see what happens. I might not be able to see him because he will be in the middle of the stage. But he might just jump away before I get there. Actually, he's gonna definitely run away before I get there. I need to put him somewhere else. And after he looks good, we'll make him spawn in random places, and if Mario's in the water, we'll make him spawn around Mario. And plus, just a Psyop. I was not aware. There we go. I had a video tutorial series at some point, Arby, but Nintendo took it all down. So I don't really want to make another tutorial series. It would be it would be a nice have though if he could. Yeah, but 
Nintendo deleted all the videos, so... Yeah. Also, I gave him a feather. Alright, let's see. Oh, that's the Yoshi Shaman Elder. Mm -hmm. I like it. That's I think we cool. might have to change. I might make the colors a little bit more saturated. Yeah, can. I'm not showing the colors yet, but honestly, it's not that bad an idea to have a slightly desaturated palette for him. Yeah. Unless I, unless I make the uh, Yoshi himself more saturated, but even if you look at the reference from the sprites from the original, he's. He's kind of, he has some darker tone. Actually, he's the same color as the Yoshi's, as the, the other green Yoshi, but maybe having the feather a bit of a darker shade would be helpful. I was like, dude, Nintendo literally took down a Blender video I had. <laughs> Nintendo moment. That is good, except that part there. Super Blario 64 True. How many quizzes done? This is the tenth one and it's almost done. 40 year old Japanese soy virgin ROM hackers. True. Programmers. with calling people soy it's an insult based on outdated science that believes that consuming soy increases your estrogen and feminizes you i don't think that's true though it's real i didn't think so Yeah, but I didn't think they would actually leak into the body, or I thought that maybe they would leak into the body at solo concentrations, that it never actually makes a difference. Okay, I like this. Now I just need to add a water splash to it, and they need to change the colors as we desire. Teach me anything, it is that those Japanese employees are just following orders and do not take the time to actually check the content if they were copyright or not. That was at least for this case. Uh, could be, but we're just shit talking the programmers, not the employers. Just because we can. <laughs> this is a bit hard to get into, but a lot of the stuff we say might not be entirely serious. It is just saying really dumb things because we think it's funny. Oh, there we go. Now it's a lot of differently colored paranas. And most of them look terrible. But I like some of them. What do you think of my prana colors? Let's see. Oh, there's... 
<laughs> I love them. All right. They're very colorful. Yeah. I mean, most fish are also very colorful. They also should spawn a little water splash when you do that. spawn on top of the water. Why is the microphone so loud? I don't know. That's just how it is. Oh, they do go on top of the water. Alright, so I don't actually need to do this. You don't like the keyboard ASMR? Hello, Lekomar. Lekomar nuts? Welcome to the stream. Eh. This is what we need. When does this play in Mario Party 4? I don't know. <laughs> this was a song request. Eh. That's not good either. It does this twice. Why would it do this twice? Oh, wait, no. Which the enemy monster? Nope. There we go. Beautiful. I like this. And now we just have the prana go to a random spot every time, and the water should look very alive. It will look like there's a million different pranas, even though there's literally just one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. Can you go into that water? You can, but the pranas will tear you to shreds. It's because the water splash is a general animation thing. It can happen everywhere. And the water is specific to this. Would you take Adderall? Uh, I'm not too familiar with the long-term effects of it. But without long-term effects, then it does sound pretty intriguing. Hi, XPN. No question. Is there a way to reduce like on an Nintendo 64 Power for a make? I have expansion packs. Do you have like an NTS serum you're hacking or what do you do? Ah oh, shit, wait. So 
So the maximum is 8,000. The minimum is... And since this is an oval like this, one point four five. for seven. <laughs> and yeah, I should probably add wall collision to these guys. I don't like this. I don't want to update the floor. Offset Y, 0 point F, radius 50. Got it. Do we have a favorite video game? Not really. Hello Yoshi Party. Yes, I've been wearing this bed ring for almost a year now. February. Yeah. February 22nd. Do we need more than one piranha in here? Did I mess up the code? Where's my piranha at? Anyone seeing the prana? I think there's some dots on your screen, but I can't tell if that's just dirt or the piranhas. No, the piranhas would be very easily visible, mm. especially because of the graphic effect. Yeah. Did I just mess this up somehow? I didn't even calculate the angle. So we're spawning in the same spot over and over. Nope, I always had the ring on. Oh, there we go. I have seen the prana. There it was. Let's add like two or three more. Yeah, wrong. Mm. 
One of them is gonna attack Mario and the other two are just gonna jump around. But it will look like there's just a bunch of piranhas around. How long is we're going to hack typically take? That depends on how big you want to make the hack. A hack like this might take you 3,000, 4,000 hours. A short hack you can do in a week. I think my first tank I made in two weeks and had 122 stars, it just sucked ass. So, have you guys played the new Pokemon game? What did you think? I only, everything I saw of the new Pokemon game looked like complete garbage. Yeah, you can see a good amount of piranhas just jumping around. <clears throat> Maybe we can swim off the level to find if the place you're trying to spawn around isn't part of the temple. And the other is good enough. Looks like an early N64 game. I didn't think it looked that bad, I just thought it looked really buggy. So doing it this way removes one animation bone and renders a bit faster. Watch this. It's the biggest image I've ever seen. <laughs> what? <laughs> she missed the food completely. What? That is literally the first time I've seen that animation. Oh my goodness. If you've seen that a million times, you've just spent too much time on Twitter. I can, but I don't wanna.
What's your diet? I was in the middle say I've been eating absolute horse shit price. <laughs> I have not eaten out once in like the last month. Actually, we got Wendy's once, but Wendy's is sick. I'd much rather just go to fucking Wendy's than a fancy restaurant. Food's so much better. Uh, anyway, my diet's pretty much just rice and chicken still. That's like the main point of my diet. And half a pound of quark every night. It's depending on college, university, video game development, learning. Um, I think it's a waste of your time. If you're there for the learning. The degree is gonna be nice and the networking is gonna be nice. But I don't think you get anything out of the actual education. If you just spent those two free years that you would spend in college and the money that you would spend on college just sitting in your basement and programming games, you will learn maybe two to three times as fast as you would learn if you actually were in college. I, I would know. guess. Some people learn better in a social environment, but someone as someone who went to college, the networking's really good. And it all depends on if you have a good teacher who's willing to push you in the right direction as well. And you're not You will ready. always be slowed down by the rest of the class. Sorry? You will always be slowed down by the rest of the class. Yeah. If, I mean, I guess I got pretty lucky with my class because we were pretty, everyone with, most people were pretty compatible to work with. And that applies to everything, not only programming. To most things it applies, yes. But like, I, I think I was lucky enough that I had really, really good teachers as well. But I think it especially applies to like, game design stuff. Because game design is a very new discipline. It's not an art that has been learned for a very long time. So, the resources to learn it, they're still just open for everywhere. You don't need anyone to actually lay them out for you. If it was something like mathematics, it might make sense to someone curate the best order to learn stuff in. But game design is just not like that. You did a meme review? Alright, meme review. Meme review? Same energy. Twinkle tackle. Oh god, what? <laughs> that is awful. <laughs> it looks like someone playing with a plush, not like a real Pokemon. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. See ya, Bloxel. Bye bye. Alright, piranhas are in. Now I just need to make it so that I actually focus my right here. Um, Alright, you might have to fix the, uh, the armature and the parenting just so everything functions properly. Okay. So take a look. He's got his arm thingies now. Yeah, let me just program with these here. Yes. I will only make them do one damage, so it's not too strong here. <clears throat> now, once I go into the water, there should be one piranha that always spawns in a circle around me.
Hmm, that's not how I wanted this to work. I wanted this landing to be on me, not this ascent. What did I do wrong? That doesn't explain anything. The camera will be unable to get below the water just to prevent that bug. Well, it's not really a bug if that's intentional. But yeah. You get what I'm saying. I don't think this has anything to do with it. Actually, it definitely doesn't. I just find it weird that it doesn't work because 28.f is definitely the amount of frames he's in the air because he has 56 speed with 4 gravity right it takes him 40 frames to lose that and then 14 frames to land i don't know very weird Do they always spawn away from me now? Why do they always spawn around here? Oh, because I didn't actually compute the angle yet. Ah. Oh, I also did two separate things here. shouldn't have done that. <laughs> no, now it should work. There we go. They should aim at Mario, like they should just also use the speed for this. So I'm playing Mario Party OST. Like very spin this focus like you're working about all the time and pray for straight. Uh yes. I always hyper focus on whatever I was doing. Nice it works. I think the first time I actually really like started the project was when I was like You know what actually no the first time I was hyper focused on something was when I was like 11 and I was playing an online game And then after that I got hyper focused on just fucking reading books I used to read books for like 12 hours a day I read over 200 books in a single year Holy And then shit. after that when I was like 13 I was hyper focused on programming shit on my calculator and then after that, an online game again until I was 16, 17, and then more 64 hacking. You're the nerd. You're the biggest nerd. Never.
top five favorite games. I really like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, even though they are both kind of bad. Um, I like I like Custom Robo Arena for the DS a lot. Uh, hmm. I like Pokemon Red and Blue. Same genre. What's the fifth game I like? You got an idea? Mm. Digimon Cyber Sleuth? Or Hacker's Memory? I wouldn't put that on my favorites. That game's like mid throughout. Mm. Pokemon Stadium? Pokemon Stadium is a really fun game, but it's not like a game game, it's more like a multiplayer experience. Mm. Did you like any of the mainline Mario games? Yeah, they're all kind of shit. <laughs> um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, the first one? Absolutely fucking not. Okay. Um, Melee? Melee is not a game, Melee is a sport. Would you put it as one of your favorites if you considered it a game? Well, obviously. Well, there you go, that counts. It's not a game. I don't play it as a game, I play it as a sport. Sport is still a game! Nope. It's still, by that definition, a game. It's a sports yeah. for melee. Is a sport for her. It's a sport based on a game. Zelda. Oh yeah, Zelda. I really like Breath of the World and Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Mhm. Mm Did you like end up liking a hat in time? <sighs> I like most of it. You can't put me on the spot like that. I, I work for them. I absolutely can, and I just did. <laughs> I like most of it. The alpines, eh, the swamp. But okay. everything else was great. I'll say this much. I agree with you on the alpines. They're kind of boring. But I, I disagree on the subcon forest. That's my favorite level. Yeah, that's Actually, great. no, the DLC level. Yeah, I might have just level. been burned out by the time I got to the forest because I was playing on stream, and it gets exhausting. True. Hmm. So our next step might be either hiding the Yoshi coins here or the intro cutscene. I think we should do the Yoshi coins first. Yeah. I only had three ideas for a Yoshi coin so far. Wow. We need more ideas for a Yoshi coin. One from a bomb flower on the wall, I like that. Is Shy get playing to a talkable statue? I don't know how this would work. And ice flower and walking over the water. Yeah, that's an easy one. I like the ice flower one. Mm -hmm. Gets more used to the ice flower as well. I sent you some stuff. You sent me stuff. Old Big Yoshi, alright. Not much has really changed with them, but... Maybe you Let's can help me them. get the colors right on the feather. <clears throat> ah, you gave him braces and a feather? Yep. Alright. I think he needs some new eyes as well. Yeah, the eyes do look a bit weird here. Yeah, they're not very fitting for elder eyes. I think he needs more like calming demeanor eyes. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, maybe different eyes would be a good idea. What's with the colors here? Is it just for 64? I think that might just be a blender preview, because if you change the the, um, the rendering mode to um, viewport shading... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a blender thing. Yeah. 
Looks cool though, I like it. Mm -hmm. Dixie puzzle where you throw a rock into a circle of rocks in the water like in Brother Wilds. Yeah, that's not a bad one. The problem I have with that is that I don't really want to add any more stuff to the main area because the main area is already lagging. That's the problem I actually have with all ideas right now. <laughs> we can easily hide something in here. That's like a prime spot for it. The Could shy guy rave, some... not really. Could you hide something in the um, in the retro stage? No, I don't want that. Mm. I was gonna suggest you could pull it up like the turnip, but if you don't. No, 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 no. I want the Yoshi cards to all be in the main area, basically. So anytime there's a path to a star, there can't be a Yoshi coin on that path. So the only places we can put it is the main area here and this area. Yeah. Which, oh, you guys haven't even seen the updated inner area. I haven't shown that in so long. Look at it. Isn't it pretty now? It looks so nice. Seven D, five D, B six. Isn't that a bit dark and desaturated? I don't think it would look good. We have a song request. A song request. I will turn it on in a second. I imagine used to be a very desaturated purple. Yeah, I think it's this one. Can we get us four two five two two five? No. I don't think so. Yes, I am from Germany. So I definitely want to hide two Yoshi cards in here. I think that's mandatory for this to work any decent at all. So how do we hide two Yoshi cards in here? Dude, American TV shows or American game shows are so dry. I can't stand them. I thought most game shows are pretty dry. No, not at all. This is not how German ones are. How are German ones? They are... There's like a lot more... Things to it. It's not just question answer, question answer, question answer. It's like people discussing stuff and like... Discovering the mystery and stuff like that. I see. I mean, you have to do this to get the switch, so maybe we can use the summer for a Yoshi coin. Like, you have to be up here and then do something cool. Well, you have to jump to reach it. It's a pillar that doesn't connect to the ceiling and put it there. Yeah, I like that. Donna has the right idea. We could add a pillar that appears after you've stepped onto those there that would lead you to a Yoshi coin. Alright. The question is just, where would that be? What is a prime spot for this? 370076. That might work a bit better. It's less desaturated, so I like that. 
You have to also keep in mind that the vertex colors on the coins are additive, so the final output in game is gonna be less saturated than the colors you give me. I could totally have two pillars come out of here and then the pillars lead to a coin up there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I forgot what these B perms do. Fifty, okay. Is favorite SM6 for a speedrunner? Well, the only speedrunners I really know are like the top runners, which is like Cheese, Simply, Punkation, GTM, and I'm guessing you're talking about 120 star runners. And I really can't chant Cheese or Punkay, so it's gotta be Simply. Let's let's number them through. Uh, bomb flower in a wall. I think this should be inside the temple. And I'm gonna have to be five. Um, pillar that goes up in temple. Mm. Get ice flow and walk on water, should be free then. So we need two more Yoshi coin ideas here, basically. And they have to work without adding any additional lag to the level, which is a very difficult task to pull off. All right, I am just gonna test Lila's color blind without actually looking into whether that's gonna look good. GTM Cloud now. GTM is a pretty good runner now. I don't think he has a lot of cloud, but he has pretty insane 16 star runs. Alright, I've, uh, I've uh, parented the objects to the model and nothing's broken. Oh, I thought they already were. No, I had to. I sent it over without parenting them, but I had to figure out how to parent them properly again. Yeah. It's been a hot I minute. have to edit the rig anyway because the rig is outdated. Yeah. It's been a hot minute since I've used Blender. Once I'm done with a current big project. Alright, Lila, don't you think this is a bit dark? Let's get him in. It looks cool, but it's dark. Uh, 
All right, I like this. Who wrote me? Oh, my dad. He's making fish again. Oh, I miss your dad's fish. My dad always sends me pictures of making fish and I want the fish. Dad makes really good smoked fish. That looks a lot better. Alright, two more ideas we need to pull out of our ass for Yoshi coins. I wish I had planned for these from the beginning, but now we are in this situation. The water wheel definitely needs something. And there needs to be one on top of the water wheel here. The water wheel does nothing. That has to be the first one. Or even the middle of the water wheel. The middle or the top? I think the middle is actually better, because it's harder to get to, but easier to see. The water wheel is using lighting, I'm pretty sure. At least to some degree. We might want to rebake the light into the platforms here. Alright, just one more idea we need. If we don't go the ice flower and walking over water thing. It could be something with these Yoshi statues. Let you just be here if we really wanted it to be. But I usually like these to be special interactions. Let's see, entrance of the Recurrent in Cave. Nah, that's lame. There was a missing polygon? Where? Oh, I thought. You meant that to be the place where the thing should be. Ah, yeah. It is because of the deletion of the thing. There, easy fix. I love this. You can even avoid them by just going side to side. Oh, they look so cool. The water has to be opaque for it to not just like the shit. I kind of want to add one more special interaction. One thing that's not just walk here and get it. Let me actually check the Yoshi coins in the other levels here and see how much of that is special interactions and how much is just get go there and get it. Regional coins, pinkish purple. Below the bridge, get there. Behind the start, get there. On carriage, just get there. Free on slide branch, get there. On carriage, just get there. Okay, let's Chris one. That one behind rocks is on a bubbly rock. On Lomi for the star and set hammer storm. Attention to fish. Okay, four of them are just get there. There's rope section, a frontage bread process, and crank and wall. Come from Boonat. 
Okay, one of these is special interaction. No, two of them. Goomba cage of the monkey tree. Zero. It's because we're retroactively adding these and all these. Mm. Let's say two of these are special. Oh, I don't think I added these yet. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I think there should be one special one for stage at least. So I don't know what we can do with praying. Yoshi God, can the Yoshi God give you one somehow? I don't think that's a good idea now. What if the Yoshi God was able to eat shy guys and that would give you the coin? Like you just lure a shy guy to him. So you definitely can lure a shy guy to him. And it would be very funny. Yeah, I agree, the door colors need to change. Let's do that. Lure a shy guy to the Yoshi gods and he eats it. Where is everyone? I don't know. Can't believe they would leave me alone with you. Oh, that's just the color of the texture. What? Alright, I just need to edit the texture then. Just got no good ideas. Ah, unlucky. I think we have a good idea though. With the Yoshi eating the shy guy, I really like that. That'd be such a cool interaction. It might be a bit difficult to figure out, but hey, I think it should be fine. What's a good color here? This feels slightly blue to me. But I mean, the sunlight is also slightly blue. Should I just desaturate it? are affected by lighting. Thank you. 
I don't see how you can paint depth here. This seems a lot more fitting to me. I think I'm fine with this. Should it contrast with the wall? I don't think so. I think it looks good this way. not the correct Yoshi door. Wait, I have two Yoshi doors. Shit. The Yoshi elder doesn't do much, does he? The what doesn't do much? The Yoshi Elder. Nah, he just talks to you. Okay, so I've got a very, very basic animation for him. Very nice. Alright. Oh, maybe the Yoshi Elder will give you the hint for the Yoshi coins here. That would look cool. Like, the Yoshi Elder should tell you, hey, you should feed the Yoshi gods or something like that. Would you guys own a Yoshi? The chip would be gross. I'll imagine some of the dark with a red thing on his tongue and a long tongue. <laughs> True. Alright, here you go. But you could write them, and Yoshi can jump so high. You could make millions of dollars with an animal like that. Alright, there you go. Old breed Yoshi, but now he has animation. Alright, I will. It's, it's a very basic animation. What's he doing? Huh? What's he doing? He's just. Ah, uh, he's just chilling. Yeah. Alright, I like that. Perfect. I've already sent it over to you. Alright. He will just be sitting here. Mm-hmm. He should tell you a different thing, depending on which act you're in. That'd be kind of fun. <clears throat> Let's see, what would the other text be? Maybe he gives you some riddles? Nah, he will just give you hints. Yeah. One hint at rave, two hints at feeding gods, three. Mm. Hmm. And three, two, six. Tells you about feeding the Yoshi got for a coin. Shy guys. That's what I'll do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might still want to add that, Leila. You are correct. It's just that in a lot of places that's not possible because the light is dynamic. Unless I did some weird backout shit, which is possible actually. But we already pretty much fucked on performance here. Did the hardest puzzle I've ever solved. Nah, he'll just digest them. They'll just be gone. I don't want to have to program that as well. Yeah, but I wouldn't even look like Leela because it would be interpolated instead of multiplied. 
He usually said bones, it's verified by Mario Party, by the shock capsule. That branch is just kind of colorless. I don't think the others are. That's what they use the calcium for. Don't Yoshis reproduce asexually too? They reproduce by just eating five apples. Alright, I think we've got it. All planned out now. Mm -hmm. I can place two of these already. Thing go. Huh? Where did the egg coin go? That is not where I put it. Yes, I usually post my VODs on YouTube, except if I forget, which is possible. No, I didn't set the B curve for this, right, did I? Actually, I did not. Okay. <clears throat> so where would be a good place for the one you get from the ice cap? Oh wait, actually I don't want to add an ice cap here, because if I add an ice cap, then you'll be able to just walk up here. And that would be really bad. Wait, no, that wouldn't be really bad. That would be really cool. I just need to edit the collision to work with it. The condition right now does this. No, I like it less. Uh, I like the stretched out. I don't think I want to make it less stretched out. <clears throat> oh 
me a little. No, but it's not that fast. I think the speed is good right now. Sonic telling me to break the rules? Should I go rob a store? Why would Sonic tell me this? Played Frontiers now. Dude, with Sonic and Pokemon releasing back to back, it truly feels like software is on a harsh decline. And then Twitter too. Is the entire software industry just collapsing? too good to be true but maybe twitter potentially going out is a good thing uh, i still haven't noticed a difference in how twitter runs now so i think everyone's overreacting they probably are i do like the color yes uh, this isn't how i envisioned this There's a chance that water boxes aren't sorted by height, but rather by order, and that would cost that. Why is the hut stretched? Because we are playing in widescreen mode, which stretches the hut. Hello, Clayman. What? People overreacting on the internet? No way. You know, people have memed on this, but I truly do believe that Twitter is still running fine despite Elon firing half the staff. That best me that half the staff was useless. I think that's bound to happen in any big tech company that most of the staff is useless. They probably have like thousands of people working there. And most of them are not very passionate about the job. They will just do the bare minimum to get by. Of course you could argue that his actions are not the most moral because clearly Twitter can support all these people, but and it's also just probably like a small part of their actual expenses. So having more people doesn't really hurt them. Better safe than sorry. At the same time, they don't seem that important if it's still running fine. I think we got it. 
I only opened one to see if I can't use the tip also, but me shows on. I, I only opened one to see who pinged me. I don't even look at the homepage. Or very rarely do. Maybe onto something? Sync software is under the claim? Oh no! <laughs> Peppa Pig World Adventures! <laughs> what? Oh! I am curious what this is gonna be. <laughs> Oh no. Anyway, I think we're done here for the day. We only have two more of these coins to set, and then the intro cutscene, and then this level is done. Don't forget the other Yoshi. And the other Yoshi, yeah. I think we're gonna be finishing this by next Saturday. Which is exciting, because that means we can start working on the second overworld, and we can start working on the Overworld 1 rework. I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be hopefully better than the old one. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye bye. Bye bye.